Hello, and welcome to Hemi Thoughts. Um, I don't even remember what episode this is. Uh, this is all kind of blurring together, honestly. College is kind of just moving. It's never really any like huge breakpoints because when you're in a high school, you had hu a string of exams on certain days, and then boom, you'd, you'd be able to just you know lay back and just enjoy your break right after the huge amount of hours you put in studying for those exams. But in college, you have this thing where you have a bunch of different classes on different schedules, and then you have a bunch of different exams. Maybe you don't even have exams for these certain classes, and then you're like, what the heck? And then all while your exams are going on, your teachers still put on deadlines on you. So you still have to keep on doing that same pace of work while studying for exams. And then after exams are over, you kind of just keep on doing work and you just never have a break. It's kind of uh, <laughs> awesome, meaning not awesome at all. And <laughs> uh, this week I don't have a guest again just because, I mean, eh, it's kind of hard to find a guest. Everyone has a different schedule, whereas Hemi Thoughts not have a different schedule every week. I mean... I didn't have a guest and I kind of forgot to do it yesterday, so I didn't have it out yesterday. Sorry, guys. And But today I'm doing it, and I just want to talk about how uh, in my anthropology class, I'm pretty quiet. I'm uh, Most of the students there, I don't really know them. They don't know their names or anything. We just kind of like in the same room together. And um, in that class, I'm one of the only... I'm one of the few freshmen, I think, because, I don't know, so I don't really talk much, I don't really participate, and plus it's a lecture anyway, so I'm just like sitting there listening. And then, um, my professor starts asking the class if anyone knew much about Amish culture, and in my head, I'm thinking, well, this is one of the only, like, few cultures that I actually know a lot about is the Amish culture and the one opportunity that a professor explicitly asks the class if anyone knows anything about Amish culture. I can't bring myself to actually talk about it. And even though I'm saying all this stuff in my head, I just I just can't. I just don't raise my hand. I let the opportunity slip. slip. And I guess some other people knew stuff about Amish culture, so they were saying stuff about Rumspringa and how Amish, like, teenagers, they have a chance in their lives to go out into the English world, meaning non-Amish world, and then see if they want to come back or not and stay in the Amish community forever and get baptized. Um, yeah, so I already knew all of this, but I, I could have been the one who said this. I could have been the one to raise my hand and say all the stuff about Amish culture, um, but I missed my chance. Another thing I noticed is that since coming to college, I've noticed... Um, people's posture more while you're in high school you don't really get to walk around very much besides going to your next class or going to the bathroom and um, <laughs> whereas in Ann Arbor I have to walk outside to my class like every time after class before class I'm always walking outside and therefore I see a lot of other people walking outside and sometimes I just, I'm looking at them I'm like man this girl in front of me she has terrible posture like she is literally slumped over and like and shuffling her feet man that's horrible and then other times I'm seeing this, this another time I'm walking I'm like dang this girl has really good makeup. It's like, man, you know, she's like an unconventional beauty, like, and I'm just like admiring a person from afar, but then I was like, I'm like, snap out of it, I'm like, real world, I'm like, okay, I need to go to the library, I need to go, I need to go study. And so far, my classes, I'm doing pretty well, I'm really happy with my grades so far. Uh, it just turns out that, like, literally input, and then you get the output that you expect, like, the more time you put into a class, guess what? The better grade you'll get. And so I've been putting a lot of time into my classes. Um, like I really, really want at least 3.5 this semester. And I actually think they may be possible. And I'm working so hard because one, it's just an expectation that I have, that I've had ever since 
I've been in school, and two, because my parents are spending so much money paying for my college tuition that, I mean, what can I bring home to them other than good grades than to say to them, this is why you're doing this, like, this is what I'll do for you because you're doing this for me, and, you know, a lot of people say that one of the biggest things that they regret, um, not doing enough in college is not studying enough and I really don't want to be one of those people who could have asked like what if I studied more I could have gotten a better grade although I do realize that just your GPA is not good enough I mean there will be plenty of people who have better networking than you and will get a better job even though they have a crappy GPA and I realize that but you know what I mean, as a freshman, I can't really network anything that will really last into the job world, so all I can kind of do is get my GPA up. So when I do have the opportunity to network and spend my time on that kind of stuff, I can kind of sacrifice a little bit of my class, my grades, so I can go and pursue that. And I'm just kind of like planning ahead, I guess. It's like, you know, since I have like the free time, like, all I can really do is is just... Well, do work. And even when I finish my work, I kind of could be doing more work. Like, there really is no stop. There's no end. It just never ends. The work just never ends. Um, and the weather's been getting cold. I'm gonna, like, in the morning I dress, I dress for uh, kind of cold. Because in the apartment somehow it's always hot in here. So I always, I always underdress. Um, for the cold, and then when it gets cold, and at night, because I'm on central all day, I realize, man, I should have worn a scarf, or man, I should have brought a, a thicker jacket, because man, Michigan weather, it's so weird, I just never get used to it, I mean, I expect it to be unpredictable, but that doesn't change how unpredictable it is, I mean, it's like, in the 40s, and, um, Apparently next week it's going to go up to like high 60s, low 70s. I'm like, oh, what the F is going on? Um, and I guess, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of all been going on. It's not really much. Nothing much. I don't really know what, we're, what I'm doing for Halloween, though. Eh, we'll see. All right, so this has been another episode of Happy Thoughts. Catch you guys.